Hey there, YouTube, how's it going? Hello, this is Elliot, and once again, it is time for Elliot's vlog. It is November 1st. Yes, we made it through another month, and can you believe that I actually made it through a month without TV or internet? I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I did it for a whole entire month, and I plan on getting internet back uh, this month. So, uh, yeah, we'll have internet at the house or at the apartment here. But uh, that's not why you tuned in. This is a tank update, and uh, I'm very happy to say that I have, once again, have a happy saltwater aquarium. Um, I have had my um, rast in there for about a week. Uh, Gobi's been in there for about a week, and everything is looking great. Um, what I'm going to do is actually show you... Uh, what I do in the morning, my morning routine before I go to work, is I, one, uh, feed my lovely cat over there who's munching on her breakfast. Then I feed these guys, and see, check it out. Look at this water. Isn't that pretty clear? There's a skimmer. You can see how dirty that is. But, uh, yeah, there's my wrasse. There's Ahab. That's Ahab in the back. That's the guy who causes all the trouble for territorial disputes. Disputes? Disputes. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you what I do in the morning. Um, I was feeding them some food, and it was actually this stuff. Don't feed fish this stuff. Um, I've watched other videos, and people say it's great. If you don't have a good filter on your tank, it will cloud everything up like it did, and it will kill your fish. So don't do that. Also, don't overfeed your fish. That's a bad, bad thing. But... Um, what I'm going to do is uh, show you what I do. So um, over here, we've got the Microbacter 7 that I've been using. I was, when I first started uh, doing this, was put just two drops in. But apparently I misread that wrong, so you actually have to put a full cap in for every what, gallon of water you have or something like that. So the fish store that I go to recommended that I use a cap full of this stuff. So that's the bacteria that helps with the cycle. You can see one of the snails there, and there's the goby. The goby's hanging out back there. He likes that spot. He's been moving around. He actually uh, created this little crater right there. I think he was trying to make that his home, but there's too much traffic over there, so he might have relocated. Uh, and then this right here is the food that I give them. That's actually brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, and uh, some kind of kelp or something in there. But it, you keep it in the re uh, freezer overnight and then uh, you take it out in the morning and it's just a little cube and it defrosts but everybody's out because everybody's gonna get fed so you just kinda dip that in there, 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 there we go and everybody I just like how it explodes into like craziness so you can see all the food and stuff but there's the rest taking some food. There goes Ahab swimming around. I'll back off a little bit so I don't spook them too much. I don't get it. These fish are not quite used to me. But yeah, there's the rest. There we go. And there's Ahab in the back. Oh, where'd he go? So yeah, that's the morning routine. That's what they get every morning. And they also get fed at night, but they don't get the bacteria at night, so they only get the bacteria dose in the morning. And this is a pretty happy tank. I'm very satisfied with it at the moment. Uh, so we will be adding lights. I know I keep saying that, but we will. Uh, now that i got everything stable, and the next step will be to add coral, which will be awesome. That will be another challenge. So thank you very much for tuning in. I still don't know what that brown spot is right there. I thought that was food debris, but it keeps on coming back, so I don't know what that is. But it's brown, and it's always in the same spot, and everybody, snails have walked by it, I've watched crabs walk by it, and it's still there, so go figure. But anyway, that is my uh, aquarium, uh, aquarium update as of November 1st. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for any other fish that I could put in here, right now I've got the wrasse and I've got the two uh, blue-green chromis, and I am planning on adding one more rock that will hopefully uh, solve the territorial dispute. 
uh, so I can have some fish that are in there. Oh, and I also have the goby. Uh, so any of those class of fish that will that are hardy that will last a long time and are they're not too expensive, uh, let me know and I might add them into my tank. So thank you very much for uh, watching this tank update. It will be uploaded sometime today and uh, I will chat with you in the weeks to come. Be safe and enjoy November. It's here. Yay!